touchdown for Army comes when Falberg goes over with Galifa's pass. A few minutes later, Army Field General Galifa heaves a 35-foot pass to Jim Kane, and he takes it for 45 yards and six more points for Army. Another touchdown in the making as Kane raises Kane with the Lions. There's Galifa passing again, and Kane scores once more. Columbia gets a break. Tracy's pass is deflected into Ward's hands, and the Lions roar. From the 17, Tracy passes again, and this time Ben Bellingham takes it and goes over for Columbia. Then Columbia has to kick off to Army. And you guessed it, Army safety man is Jim Kane. He's already accounted for three touchdowns with number four coming up. 63 to six for Army. Early in this game, the Irish really get tough with Bob Williams telling Larry Coutre to see what's cooking. So Larry steams up and cooks plenty. In the first 15 minutes of play, the Irish roll up 27 points. This time, Williams is passing to Whitekin, and he almost makes it. There goes Coutre, making it official. Tulane comes to life, and watch this. Bonar to Sheffield, and it's a grand play that brings up the hopes of Tulane. But Notre Dame is not to be denied. Spaniel takes it, and the Irish win 46 to 7. We're in Dudley Field, and Arkansas kicks to Vanderbilt, and there's action from the start as Nally gets going and is nearly knocked down by a teammate. There are plenty of Commodore fans on hand to cheer Nally on. But the Razorbacks from Arkansas are on their toes. Wade to Vanderbilt spots his man, he thinks, but Captain Duke of Arkansas grabs it at the goal line. Now the Porkers set out to bring home the bacon. Gino Mazzotti, a substitute fullback, breaks loose for the thrill play of the afternoon. 77 yards through the favored Vanderbilt team. Now on a fourth down, the Razorbacks hammer away and chalk up the close win of 7-6. by Bill DeYoung, the big 200-pounder from Ontario, California, the visitors from Palo Alto completely dominate the play. From the eight, Boyd Benson, the native Washingtonian, scores the first goal against the Huskies. Now the Indians hoop it up to Corey and to Lasco to Andrews for a razzle-dazzle that stuns the Huskies. But they fight back and trap Andrews as he tries to skirt the Washington flank. Krikorian dropping one into the arms of Big Bill McCall for six more points. Then Stanford's Bob White gets the assignment, and there's another touchdown coming up. But that's not all. Bud Klein wants to put the game well in the bag for Stanford, and does. There are plenty of midshipmen on hand, and Emil Sitko is here, too, with a few more Notre Dame gritters. There's Bob Williams passing to Ernie Zaleski, Notre Dame's mystery man, who celebrates his first real assignment with a touchdown. There's Larry Coutre, fast-stepping back on Coach Leahy's team, going 91 yards for the most spectacular run of the game.
Pitko again, and he bangs his way across for another tally. But the middies fight hard and stick to the slogan, never give up the ship or the game. Williams again, and again to Zaleski. He tallies three times for the Irish. Now John Landry scores, and it's Notre Dame all the way. The Boston Yanks put on quite a show against their ancient rivals, Clemson. There's the Eagles' Al Canaba trying to get out of trouble. It's a razzle-dazzle with Canaba hitting all points of the compass. Boston on the mark. Song and way out. Laterals to Batella for a nice play. And in less than a minute after this play, Boston scores. But Dixie says, look at this. Calvert lets go to Cone, and he starts moving. Clemson fans go wild about this one. A Boston pass takes a detour, and Calvert heads for the goal line. But this time, Boston is top. Thungan tosses to Rourke, and that spells victory for the boys from Beantown. The Californians begin to click as Soleri of the Golden Bears passes to Ward. It's a goal as Big Jim Menachino jams his way through. With the score 7-7, seven to seven, Johnson of the Bruins passes. It's a neat catch by Wilkinson who heads for pay dirt. With Wilkinson's touchdown, UCLA forges into the lead, but can't hold it as the superior strength of the Bears tells in the second half tally. Here's Soleri doing a bang-up job. He tosses one to Brunk as the Golden Bears roll on to victory. There goes Levi Jackson, the Eli Speedy Negro captain, chalking up a first down. From the 35, it's Jackson again, and he really goes through. Here comes first blood for Yale in this 66th meeting of the traditional rival. Here's Bobby Raines pouring it on. And also Ferdinand Herney, another sparkling backfield star in the last game of his football career. In the second quarter, Stu Tisdale pitches one to Jackson in the end zone, and it counts for six more points. Now watch this boy Reigns turn on the heat. He goes 45 yards deep into Harvard territory. They stop Reigns, but there's no stopping Eli. Ned Herney bangs across, and Yale wins 29 to 6. 